This tutorial will teach you how to get higher rendering quality. Most of default Unreal settings are well suited for games, but if we want to make high quality ArcVis renders, we need to change a few things. First is light mass quality. Light mass is Unreal way of dealing with global illumination. It's similar to Vray Light Cage or Aradian's map. It first computes bounces of light and then bakes them to light maps. That's why there can't be any UV overlaps or mirroring. Most of light mass quality settings can be found in the World tab. Four options are the most important. First is Static Lighting Level Scale. The smaller scale, the more samples are emitted. Note that too small value can produce lighting artifacts or give visible patterns. Num and Direct Lighting Bounces. This setting controls how many times light will bounce. Indirect Lighting Quality. It is the most important slider. It is locked at 4. If you want to achieve higher quality, you need to click on the number and manually enter 10 value. Note that increasing and direct lighting quality value has the big impact on light mass bake time. Indirect lighting smoothness. Here you can control how much smoothing is added to all shadows. Smaller values give crisp looking shadows, but also can introduce artifacts. If you still don't get satisfying results, you need to increase light map size of the models. The best way is to override default values. Note that light map resolution value has a big impact on baking time, so it's better to have lower resolution in static mesh settings. Most of our models in Arch Interiors for UE Vol 2 have light map resolution between 128 and 256 to get the quickest preview lighting baking times. If you want to achieve even better quality, just override it in Details panel. If there are too many big light maps in this scene, there can be errors during packaging a project to .exe file. Remember that light maps are only textures that are streamed by engine to fixed buffer size. If buffer is full, engine loads MIP mapped, scaled, much lower resolution textures. So if you have too many big maps, buffer will fill much quicker and you will get lower quality maps during streaming. You can also turn off streaming completely, but you will need a powerful machine to play the animation. Another thing is screen space reflections quality. Unreal has two ways of dealing with reflections. Using reflection capture spheres and post-process screen space reflection. The latter has much higher quality. Reflection capture spheres are constrained by DirectX 11. They can be maximum 128 pixels in size. To get higher quality anti-aliasing, we can add execute console command node in level blueprint with r.postprocess AA quality 6. If you want more particles and from some reason you can't switch to GPU particles, execute another console command fx.maxcpu particles per emitter. Default value is 1000, you may need to increase it. It's a good practice to render final output in at least two times bigger resolution than intended. Although you will get much slower playback, the quality boost is worth it. You can find this option in global post-process, MISC screen percentage.